being strong and capable most of my life, being the friend that could muscle through anything or that always had the solution to all the problems is a trauma response. It is a cloak of protection to keep me from being vulnerable. If I didn't need anything, then I didn't have to rely on anything and nobody could ever let me down. And it's tiring to be strong. It's tiring to be everything for everybody. It's exhausting to not, oh, I'm all in my feels today. I don't have any answers and I don't really have a reason to be feeling this other than it's something way deep down inside that needed to come up. And this idea of Greta never needing anything just isn't true. I've just never allowed anybody to know that I need stuff or that I need them or that I need help or that I'm vulnerable. I just never felt worthy of receiving. <sighs> I meant to sit down and do a get ready with me and I guess this is my getting ready. Feminism made women think they could become Wonder Woman and deal with everything themselves. Then as soon as things get tough, they break down and cry. Poor baby, you're so tired. <laughs> Listen, I am all about being a strong, independent woman. I have built all the pieces of furniture in my new lovely apartment, mainly because I'm impatient as hell, so I'm not going to wait on anybody else to do it. But I'm tired. Can I get, it'd be nice if a schman would just offer to help. I'm tired. Also, it's 10 a.m. Can, can a strong, beautiful man just like walk into my room with some breakfast? That'd be great. I wouldn't, I would not be mad about it. I wouldn't kick him out. You are on your own, I'm afraid. Do you see men making videos about how they need a woman to come cook and clean for them? If a man did this, he would be called a misogynist. Stay over there and handle your own business, like the strong independent woman you are who don't need no man. You're on your own. Good morning. I only come on here to cry. I'm sure you guys are used to it. Today, it's nothing bad. I just wanted to come on here to tell you guys that what one man won't do for you, another one will. No, he won't. Nobody talks about how hard it is. I really need to hurry to transition from being on survival mode to somebody actually wanting to take care of you. I'm not doing it. It's not that easy to let somebody do that for you, especially when you've been used to, to having to take care of yourself. Being the one that has to take care of everything in a crisis to somebody being like, I got you. I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna take care of you. It's not that easy. <laughs> Do it yourself. Don't get me wrong, it's not that you don't want the help. In my case, I'm just not used to it. There's no way. You tell me I got you or let me do this for you. I probably won't respond because I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do in that case. And that is my problem right now. She has a pill problem. I have a huge <laughs> issue with that. Not an issue, but I'm having a really hard time transitioning to just being like, okay, you got me, I'll let you take care of it. <laughs> She's crazy. Uh, it's not that easy transitioning from being in your masculine, masculine energy to your feminine energy. You just think it's too good to be true. What's the catch? Am I going to pay you back? Give me my money. <laughs> or what? Because this doesn't sound normal to me. Quite an adjustment but we're learning. Another strong independent woman who could never have a man in her life because she thinks she can do everything herself. If a man comes along, he gets alienated by her masculine personality traits. She's a manly lady. 